Shalom. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachachachurash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I just wanted to chime in, all right, on the updated, all right, recent breakdown of the Mark of the Beast uh, by the IUIC and Bishop Nathaniel as the head. Um, has now added all right another uh, aspect to their breakdown and we're going to go into it and uh, ultimately you brothers and sisters can be edified and if you have a problem with these videos that we do all right concerning this topic just don't click it all right yes we're going to go into a video that's dealing with IUIC if you don't want to watch it just click off of the video all right there's various videos that are done that have nothing to do with this topic Okay, and when you deal with the Holy Scriptures, it tells you, all right, that there must be heresies among you, all right, and these heresies, all right, stem from the difference of opinions and doctrine, okay, that happened back, all right, at the time of all of the prophets, it happened at the time of Yahweh Shai, and it's no different in these times, all right, wherein you have particular men, for whatever reason, uh, perverting the gospel, taking away the name adding all of these weird heathenistic customs and um, the prophets are a sacrifice all right ultimately the prophets through the spirit and power of the habashim yashar are set to defend the gospel all right and stick their necks out all right and be a thorn in the side and it may be annoying in the flesh okay but in spirit it's necessary so that the elect can be purged from the lies all right and receive the truth because we do believe that amongst all of these camps you have members of the elect okay but as the scriptures say all right by your good works okay even the naysayers are going to glorify the most high in the day of judgment all right and as the book of jude says some will be pulled out of the fire all right through us exhorting all right and coming up against all of the lies that are being presented and this is a very, very important uh, part of the new song. When we read Revelation, the 14th chapter, there's a stern warning by the prophets, all right, against this technology that's being presented by the beast, okay? Now, I have this video here done by uh, the beloved brother Yashalom, GMS Watchman, is his channel. Subscribe and be edified. The title of the video is IUIC Bishop Nathaniel Explains the MOTB in 2023 and Mocks Great Millstone. All right, now if you've been watching closely, this particular camp has changed their breakdown, all right, more than seven to ten times. Okay, and if you want to remain ignorant, okay, because you like this particular uh, camp, all right, and you don't want to acknowledge the uh, clear, you know, as the scriptures say, meddle not with them that are given into change. All right. And you have to ask yourself, why would any Hebrew Israelite go out of their way all right, to detach the technology we see being presented by this devil in these latter days? All right. From the MOTB, what's being uh, uh prophesied by john the revelator in revelation the 13th chapter again when you read revelation the 13th chapter john the revelator is foretelling he's foreseeing what we're going through okay so for some reason all right he's gonna leave out this very very vital aspect of what the devil wants to do all right with this haragma okay and some men just don't want to be wrong all right they don't want to acknowledge that uh, the, the truth is being taught by particular men. So what they'll do is what you're getting ready to see. Go out of their way. All right. To pervert the gospel to save face. Or maybe they've taken a deal to where they can't condemn it. Because every Hebrew Israelite camp should be warning and telling our people not to take this technology. Okay. Just as that juice came out and you had... Various Hebrew Israelite camps with gray areas, 
all right, you can do it, but you know, I'm you know, I'm not going to do it. Or you had some that said just flat out go and get it. And look at the 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 the, uh, the amount of death and confusion, all right, that that uh, activator sauce brought. And when I say activator sauce, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, what they told you you had to uh, take, all right, in order to keep your job, in order to do this, do that. Many of these leaders boldly told you to go ahead and do it, right? And look at the, uh, the, the, the confusion that's come from that. Now, people are walking around here not knowing what the hell they got going on inside of them. But anyway, what we're going to do is um, play this video and then just get into it. And hopefully you brothers and sisters be edified. Now, I want you to keep this in mind. I'm going to show you something. I need you to pay close attention. Give me Revelation 13. Here's a great controversy. Revelation 17, verse 12. Verse 16. Watch this. Revelation now, um... The brother showed, you know, the brother, the elder brother, Manata Zakba, showed a clip of this. And uh, Bishop Nathaniel uh, took a deep breath. Now, they're having to constantly address the mark of the beast because what? They are being questioned by the window shoppers. That's why they have to trash your name, you know, link us to rapists and all of this stuff. All right, so that uh, ultimately the people who run across us can already be terrified like these niggas are crazy. But that's no longer working because you have a thing called the elect. All right, and the elect are going to ultimately see what's what. All right, I had a recent comment. I believe it was a brother. He said, man, I hear so much negative about you brothers at Great Millstone, but watching you brothers videos has brought me on a level to understand what the bible is really talking about see that's a member of the elect the elect is going to see through the defaming and the slander and everything else all right and hear the prophets out all right and you can see in this video as we're going to watch the bishop is irritated okay and, and I'll show you how he's irritated. He, 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 he's tired of having to deal with this topic because people are coming to him. Well, wait a minute. You know, sending him email. They're getting emails. This is not adding up. Y'all said this. Well, wait a minute. I thought you said well, it was an embargo. I thought you said it was sin. All right. Over the years, it's changed. All right. And as you can see, conveniently, we're going to show you they're now adding the CBDC to the breakdown. Conveniently. Pretty soon it'll be the, the, the mark itself. All right. And they'll be like, we, we've been telling you this. All right. This is these slicksters. But the Holy Spirit has us honing in on these things for a reason. And it's way above any of us. And it's damn sure above any of you. All right. Who, uh, who are listening because you have a lot of believers that get, again, tired of these things. Again, let's really get this real quick before we, we start. There must be let's see, I believe it's in the book of uh give me one second here. Boom. We'll get that. Go back here. Let's get it. First Corinthians eleven and nineteen. For there must also be heresies among you. Why can't all Israel get along? Well, that ain't the, the way the heavenly Father wrote it. Did they get along when Yahushai was on the scene? No. <laughs> Every time you Yahushai looked up, he had his his uh, uh, his contractors, the people who were coming against him, trying to trap him up in his words, trying to find new ways to catch him up. Okay, we have the same thing going on here. 1 Corinthians 11 and 19, for there must also be heresies among you that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. So the, what are the heresies? All right, and here it is. You, you individuals read the Bible and you see all of the back and forth between Israelites, but then the great awakening is supposed to just be smooth, all right, selling, and, and, and there's not going to be these same heresies as that which is then is now. It's going to be the same back and forth. Okay? The word is heresies, 
And I'm going to just get to the point. A body of men following their own tenets, sect or party, camps. All right, which you have the, those who are against camps. Camps are a part of this thing of ours. The, the original camp itself was the, the Israelites. Okay, at the time of Moses, we were known as the camp. Since we've been scattered and we're being brought back, you have these different particular camps and they have particular opinions on things. But there's one church that has the truth according to the Holy Scriptures, man. Okay? And that's the church of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, which are being gathered by the word in these latter days. It says, a body of men following their own tenets of the Sadducees, Pharisees, or of the followers of Yahweh Shai, as you see it says, Christians. All right, they were followers of the Hamashiach, the Mashiach, the Messiah. Okay? Dissensions arising from diversity of opinions and aims. Okay, so this one camp says the new moon is the full moon, all right? But then you have a Friday and sundown, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, permanent Sabbath, all right? We say the new moon is the uh, uh, the dark moon, all right, when it's new, all right? And that dictates the, uh, the, the, the weekly Sabbath for that month until the new moon comes, all right? So you're going to have diversity of opinions. This group says the name of the Lord is Jesus Christ. Okay, one you know one group says you can have sex on the Sabbath. We we don't agree. So you're gonna have these diversity of opinions and aims. Okay, if you want to come into the truth, this is an aspect of the truth that you're just gonna have to deal with, right? So the reason that these heresies pop up is that they which are are approved, those which the heavenly Father want, all right, to bring out the full truth of the matter, may be made manifest among you, all right. And that's why the scriptures say we can no longer be tossed to and fro. All right? Because you got a lot of childlike Israelites who want to take from this camp. Well, I like this camp. I like that. I like the way they match with the garments. Uh, you know, but the Great Millstone brings out the truth, but they, 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 their garments are wrinkled. You know? But I want to take from this and that. And you want to have this buffet. And then a lot of you just go out there. With this confused gospel and you're making people twice the child of hell <laughs> that they were before they even came into the truth ephesians 4 and 14 that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive so you have a lot of deceivers out there did not uh paul warn of this Okay. Acts 20. Okay. And 29. For I know this, that after my departing, shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Okay. Promoting unto you their own belly. Promoting unto you a false narrative. Okay. Grievous wolves, also of your own selves, shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. NLT. Let's NLT that thing. So you're witnessing, all right, the same back and forths and, and, and you know, differences that of old came. You got the Torah only. You got those who don't believe in reincarnation. No, these things happen at the time of Yahweh Shine his church. All right. Even some men of your own group will arise and distort the truth in order to draw a following. <laughs> and we damn sure are seeing that. Therefore, watch and remember that by the space of three years, I cease not to warn everyone day and night with tears. So would you have told Paul he, he's doing too much? And you're tired of hearing about it? So let's go to this uh, breakdown and we'll, we'll get the understanding and close out. Galatians chapter 13 and verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Y'all see that? Now you want, I, I've been telling y'all it's talking about sin for a long time, whether political or religious. Now, we just read what the. And so he's saying the mark is sin, which we all sin. We've been through this before. We all sin and, and fall short. 
All right. So do we have it now? All right. Or uh, I don't get it. You know, which act of sin? Okay. I, I, I don't understand that breakdown of the MOTB itself being sin. Okay. Because again, let's get Revelation, the 13th chapter and the 16th verse. Okay. This mark is something physical. And it will be issued forth by the beast system, not just America. The beast system itself is bringing this out. Charagma. Okay, we always go into this. All right, a stamp imprinted mark, a mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as badge of the followers of the anti Messiah. Now, in ancient times, as we've, uh, you know, through the Holy Spirit has, has, has opened up to us, in ancient Greek, the, the Greeks used branding. All right, the Romans used tattoos all right to mark some of their uh soldiers all right some of their uh, uh slaves okay so again john is seeing an upgraded technological version of that same system a mark branded on horses why are marks put on horses all right in cattle for ownership right to show which owner it belongs to a thing carved sculpture graven work idolatrous image so it's a physical thing and we know this because this, the, the, this word is also used in Acts 17 and 29. And it says, for as much then as we all right, are the offspring of the Most High, we ought not to think of the Godhead, all right, that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver all right, or stone or graven by art and man's device. See, that word charagma is also graven which is dealing with something a man creates, a man's device. Okay? So John the Revelator, okay, saw something physical being implemented. Okay? Let's keep going. We just read what it is. Go back to Revelation 17 and read verse 4 and 5 together. What's in the hand of of America and what's in her forehead? Read. And the well, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet colors, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand. In her hand, go ahead. Full of abominations. No, a microchip. Full of abominations. Full of abominations. Well, the 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 microchip ain't an abomination. They not planning on doing that. I don't. I don't understand. Why he's even jumping to Revelation 17, but we'll we'll, we'll keep listening. Abominations and filthiness and filthiness of her fornication. So that's in her hand. Mm. Now let's see what's in her forehead. And upon her forehead, okay, her forehead, her mind was a name written. What is it? Mystery. Mm. Babylon the Great, Read. the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. I thought it was a microchip. Yeah. Now. He's reading from Revelation, the 17th chapter, where it's describing Babylon the Great, which is the woman, all right, that rides the beast. Okay? The woman rides the beast, all right, which is basically America, all right, using the EU and NATO, all right, to basically go worldwide and push these philosophies, all right? Now, let's see here. Revelation 17 and 3, so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness and I saw a woman, this woman is speaking of America, sit upon a scarlet colored beast. And scarlet is a derivative of red, okay, full of the names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns, okay. So we always go into this, okay, the woman is America, all right, riding on a scarlet colored beast, sitting on a scarlet colored beast, right? And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, okay? And this is describing Babylon, all right? And when you read, uh, you know, the um, parable of the rich man and Lazarus, okay, it talks about the rich man which is Esau in spirit being clothed in purple and fine lin linen, all right, which means in a position of power and authority, okay? So this is basically just describing America. Now, remember, 
the whore rides the beast. Okay? And when you get to the end of this chapter, <laughs> it's going to tell you that the beast shall hate the whore. All right? So the beast and the whore are not the same entity. Okay? Again, the whore rides the beast. Let's keep going, though. Full of the names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns, and a woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Now, this is not talking of a literal person. Okay, again, when we get Revelation, the 13th chapter, okay, a particular man in power, Esau, okay, is going to bring forth the energy of the ancient Roman Empire, okay, via the Renaissance period. And at the very end of it, all right, you'll have America, the NATO, and the EU, okay, issuing forth a mark, okay? And we're seeing that happening right now, right? He's going to cause, all right? Let's keep reading. Revelation 13 and 16. He calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, which they'll say, well, this is speaking of nations. Well, what's in nations? Nations of people in a political sense, right? Nations of people are the people are in nations. All right. And they receive a charagma in their right hand or foreheads that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark. And mankind is man and woman. All right. So going back to this vision that he's breaking down in Revelation 17 and 4. This is just speaking of how Babylon was used by the Most High to push all of this wine throughout the four corners of the earth. Let's get Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hands. So did the Most High have the, the mark of the beast? That made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore are the nations mad. All right. And we're living at that time where the nations are mad. Where you're witnessing them try to get around. All right. This petrodollar system. Okay. They're, they're, they're fed up with Babylon and its policies and the warmongering. They're trying to have some form of peace to enter into their NWO. But the Heavenly Father has everything separated and divided. Pursuing the Daniel, the second chapter. They're not going to agree. Which is why the beast, the EU, and NATO are going to shoot missiles on Babylon the Great. They're going to turn on her. Okay? So again, going back to Revelation, the 17th chapter. All right? And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. All right? In the position of royalty. Decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. Having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations. All right? And it's a cup. Okay, she had a golden cup in her hand. She didn't have a mark in her hand. Nowhere do you see the Greek word charagma being used, all right, in this chapter. Let's look it up. I mean, a cup is, is full of wine. The wine is their lies. This woman didn't have, the cup wasn't in, like, implanted <laughs> in, the, in the hand of the woman again this is symbolic of the lies that this devil was spread throughout the four corners of the earth okay <laughs> I mean is, does that make sense now where was this revelation 17 and, and 4 through 5 in their previous breakdown see they're, they're, what they're doing is sending each other these whatsapp texts saying we got them now Okay, calling each other, trying to figure out, because they're getting all of these emails dealing with this particular topic. Verse 5, and upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the great mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Okay? And ultimately, we know Babylon the Great is at the forefront of spreading all of this wickedness throughout the four corners of the earth with the aid of the beast system. We recently saw an example of this. All right. Here it is. In Ghana, you have Vice President Kamala Harris pushing the alphabet agenda 
over in that country, right? How are they able to do this? Let's listen to this. Let me be clear about where we stand. First of all, for the American press who are here, you know that a great deal of, of work in my career has been to address human rights issues, equality issues across the board, including as it relates to the LGBT community. And I feel very strongly about the importance of supporting uh, the, the, the freedom and, and supporting and fighting for equality among all people and that all people be treated equally. I will also say that uh, this is an issue that we consider and I consider to be a human rights issue and that will not change. So again, she's over in Ghana pushing this agenda, telling them what they're going to do. How are they able to do this? Well, Ghana, all right, has ties to the European Union for the purpose of trade and development. Okay? With that tie, okay, well, well we already know the U.S. has an embassy over in Ghana. How does the U.S. have an embassy in Ghana? All right, it's through this B system. You see? <laughs> and not only is America able, because if, you're, if you have any ties with the European Union, then there's particular standards and rules you have to adhere by. Okay? Particular uh, uh, countries give up some of their sovereignty to partake in this beast system for the purpose of trade, development, military, aid, and so forth. Economic ties and all of that. You win all right on a level you you have free right to trade you're not restricted okay to to deal with the eu all right but with that they're able to come into your country and push wine okay again they're able to come into your country and push wine this is just one small example okay and in various parts of the world, all right, especially in Africa, they're pushing that CBDC. They're pushing the Haragma. How do you think they're able to go over there all, all these years and push those those uh, uh, activator juices on, on, on those people over there? Hmm? But that's a whole other story for another time because what? This beast system gives power ultimately to America to go throughout the world, weaken these nations and push their policies, man. That's just one small example. And of course, there's more to the story, but I'm just explaining it with the knowledge I have of the situation based upon my study and research. But you have to ask yourself, because we're, you know, even the, you know, Ghana kind of clap back a little bit. But the, the question is, how are they able to even go over there in the first place? Why are they there? Well, the, 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 the whore rides the beast. All right? And the whore had in her hand, okay, a cup full of abominations. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Because the mystery, mystery Babylon is America. And we found that out through the Holy Spirit. All right, even particular people who don't even understand what we're teaching as Hebrew Israelites know that this is Babylon the Great. And who runs Babylon the Great? Esau, Edom. The biblical Edomites run Babylon the Great. And the fall of Babylon is going to lead to the kingdom anyway. Let's go back. Because I'm guessing this bodied us. What the hell is going on here? Somebody just got bodied. That's it. Abomination, All the foreigner. Abomination is a straight up sin. Right. Uh, so the Haragmo ain't can't be a part of this? And all these antics is only going to work on those simple-minded simple Jake who are at that church in awe when they see you all. See? Right, hit the bomb. That's when he hit the bomb. <laughs> hey, Bishop, yes, it's sir. crazy you brought that out because I just heard them bums just put a video up Dude, saying that them you came off. out on the horse to distract people from the microchip <laughs> <laughs> okay i got the video what? They, they put did a video this morning saying that the reason why you came out on the horse 
was to distract the people from the microchip. Well, I don't know why you came on a horse, but the breakdown's wrong. I don't see how Revelation, the 17th chapter, has anything to do with Revelation, the 13th chapter, in the sense of the actual mark that's going to be implemented by this beast system. Wow. So this is crazy. Wow. <laughs> they just got body. Wow. No, this is why we call yourself. you Negroes, Black Hebrew Israelites. Mm -hmm. You're dumb as hell and you listen to your leaders who don't know the scriptures. You just got body. Exactly. I, 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 I'm trying to figure out where did we get body. But see, this is that shock value. Ooh, to try to look, nigga, you were, that Revelation the 17th didn't have nothing to do with the, the market Revelation, the uh, 13th chapter. Okay. One of the atrocities and abominations this devil was going to try to uh, uh, bring forth, all right, is to put his name on the Heavenly Father's creation via his technology and via what? A small device, Microsoft, all right? A small piece of software. Let's go on back to Revelation. We're almost done. We're almost done. Revelation 13. Revelation 13 and 16. Now, remember, all of these other breakdowns we've showed them, them bring this break this down revelation 17 never came up the central bank digital currency is just now being implemented into their breakdown because there's nowhere to run and eventually all right they're just going to be teaching that the chip is the mark just like they did with cornelius after all of the years of saying that he was a, a, a edomite then all of a sudden he, he you know they teaching it the right way but they don't acknowledge they were wrong and this is what pride does. And he calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. It's the same mark Babylon got, the mother of Hollis. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Nowhere did it say, all right, in Revelation, the 17th chapter, all right, that this 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 woman would have a mark in her right hand or her forehead. It's just symbolism using all right the iniquity and filth that will be spread forth throughout the four corners of the earth, all right, by Babylon. All right, but again, the beast and the whore are two separate powers, all right, but they're all Edomites, all right, which you have various other nations who've now joined the EU and so forth okay and you have other nations as well that are joined into them you know you know with uh you know uh the, the the nato and all of that but nowhere does this say that the charagma will be in the hand of the woman or the forehead of the woman that's not in revelation 7. let's keep going which is abomination sin that's what it's talking about but well, how could they force us to take part in this sin willingly. How? Watch the next verse. What sin? Which which sin are they going to try to to make us? This is a very sin is a very broad stance. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. Save he that had sin, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Now, what would they do to force us? Watch this. It said that no man might, y'all see that, buy or sell. That's talking about economics, okay? They're going to use the monetary system to try to force us to reject the word of God. They're going to use the monetary system. Now, where is the monetary system going? I mean, now he's going to bring up cashless, central bank digital currency, true. Okay, which at one point it may be on a card. But at some point, everything that they're doing and everything that they're speaking about is going to lead to you entering into one system where credit cards will not be a thing. Okay? Cell phones will not be a thing. You will become the cell phone. You will become a trackable, traceable, all right, device on their grid. How? Watch this. Give me the clip. I sent y'all on Nigeria. Watch this now. Don't, I found this video. It's a sodomite talking. I apologize. Well, I shouldn't say it. I don't know if he's a sodomite, but he's effeminate. Can y'all type it up for me? It said Nigeria. Did you know that Nigeria is 
And again, we've been bringing this out. All right, the brother got it right here. In 2022, we were bringing out the CB Central Bank Digital Current. When we first came into the truth in 2007, the apostles were saying that the money is going to go digital. Okay? That things are going to go cashless. Right? We've been saying that. Now, all of a sudden, conveniently, they tie it into their breakdown. Well, what happened to the embargo? It's going to be cashless now, and that they have a central bank digital currency? After three week delay, Nigeria's digital currency is now legal tender. Only 0.5% of Nigerians signed up. Yes, big surprise. Most people don't want a central bank digital currency. They limited the amount of cash that people could withdraw from the banks and ATMs to $44 per week. The average and if you go into ATMs, you're, you're noticing they're not letting you take cash out. You can put cash in or a check in, but withdrawing cash is becoming a thing of naught because eventually, just like they're doing in the UK, they're going to do away with particular bills and eventually it's going to be cashless. Now, I have a video as well showing more on that. Nigeria needs $40 per day to survive. Scenes of destruction are evident at different banks. Still the talk of war to get cash. They banned cash. The government came out in October of 2022 and said that they're no longer accepting the old banknotes. So they said, we're going to give you new banknotes. But then the banks stopped issuing the new ones. And people can you could look up this video this brother did. MLTB Next. Nigeria bans ATM cash withdrawals over 225 a week forced use of central bank digital currency. Get the new ones. The past, I'm making the new Naira law very difficult for Nigerians to assess. So what happened? A 60% increase in people who were using CBDCs because guess what? Children were starting to starve. They starved their own people into adopting central bank digital currency. The world leaders are taking notes on this. We the people need to take notes on this. Only the American people can stop this. And if you don't think that a central bank digital currency in a cashless society just like Nigeria isn't coming here, then you need to be a little bit more sophisticated in your thinking. <laughs> so, like I said, I was flagging. So, I called. We got a school in Nigeria. I called. And a brother said, it is true, especially in Lagos. You got I said, there's nothing we can do. They don't use cash there. We came to help them. Okay? It's all digital now. So, I'll give you the next one with India. Speed. Focus. Put on the screen. Next... All right. Previously. All right. If you look at this brother's video, he brought this out in 2020. Now, they're conveniently adding the central bank digital currency to their breakdown of the MOTB. How convenient. And y'all don't think that the, 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 see the elect amongst IUIC is seeing this. That's why they keep getting these emails. Okay. And Nate's frustrated. Because he's tired of you listening to these bums. So pretty soon they're going to do another video with the, the grape topic. Okay, to try to get you to say, uh, all right, we, 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 we're used to that. Okay, yeah, we, the grape, pedal thing, okay, yeah, whatever. Bums, which Deacon Asaph, you know, you know you're know, elder over me, right? But you said you wouldn't go call us that no more. <laughs> Remember that? We, he apologized to us, you know. Now you're back calling us bums. And black Hebrew Israelites, what's up with that? But anyway, you know, this, this is not personal, man. You know, this is uh, just business, man. We'll be bummed. Did you hear that India wiped out 87% of their cash circulation? Yeah. We have decided that we're going to wipe out all the cash circulation and thousand rupee currency notes presently in use will no longer be legal tender from midnight to night. You know, my country was the first where they made cash illegal. 2016. See, they're making cash illegal. Cash. Eight o'clock in the evening allows midnight. Cash was illegal, the big notes. And 70% of the economy crashed. This digitalization is now going all over the world and there's a war on cash. It's all part of a global trend against paper money. But India's move has been the most radical of all. The 500 and 1,000 rupee, which were the most commonly used denominations, were wiped out in an instant. In a country where 98% of the transactions were done in cash, 86% of the currency was wiped out instantly. This is exactly as if President Biden was to come on national television at 9 p.m. and announce that the 10 and $20 bills were effectively canceled. By the way, India's central bank digital currency, the e-rupee, was just launched this year. Well, it took a little time to get 1.2 billion people used to using cash all digitalized. If ever there was a time for humanity to wake up, now is 
Now give me the next one, USA. USA, because we, brothers, it can't happen here. God bless America. This is Babylon the Great. Mystery. Give me that one. Look at him. <laughs> yes. You need to say goodbye to Venmo. Something's going on in the back of his head. You know, previously on GMS Watchmen. All right, in 2020, we've been bringing this information out. They wasn't saying this years ago. Two to three years ago, all right, the, the IUIC wasn't using the central bank digital currency as a part of their MOTB breakdown. Now, look, you think people don't notice this? Sell PayPal and Cash App because Fed Now is coming and you don't have a choice. Fed Now is a payment service by the government coming out in July that your bank will have to sign up for, which is the first step to make the dollar digit. Now, how does this work? Well, if you buy something on Amazon, your money won't go directly to Amazon anymore. It will first go to the Fed's account and then go to Amazon. This means the government will know everything you use your money for, and if they want to, they can reject any purchase you make, take money out whenever, and decide what you can and can't spend your money on. Yes, it will be faster for payments to settle, easier to get stimulus, and lowers costs that you have to pay to your bank. So your privacy is gone. So is it truly worth it? And guess what? You don't even have a choice to participate or not. Our banks are the ones who will decide for us. So follow me to stay tuned on the final details before it actually comes. So Africa was a Tesco. Africa, India, and anyone to bring that huge. So back in Revelation 13 and 17. Because the question, how could they try to force the saints to sin? Fight through finances. Those that are weak and give up. Read verse 17 again. And that no man might buy or sell. Uh -huh. Save he that had the mark. Had to be involved in their sin. If they see brothers... Teaching on the street, find them. Go into the bank account, take money. Out. Boop, boop, boop. That's what that's, that's what they do. Now you have no. They're not doing that. Listen, listen to what he just said. That's not happening. Now, eventually, once this system gets more and more hardcore, all right, because there may be a point we can use the you know digital currency, but as they make it more strict and strict and strict, that's going to be tied to your digital ID, all right. And from that point, okay. What you do, or it will dictate how you're fined and what you can buy, what you can, just like China. See? Which they're going further in their technology. But let's listen. And lowers costs that you have to pay to your banks, and your privacy is gone. So is it truly worth it? Tesco, Africa, India, and anyone to bring that here. So back in Revelation 13 and 17, because the question how could they try to force the saints to sin? Fight through finances. Those that are weak. And give up, read verse 17 again. And that no man might buy or sell, uh -huh. save he that had the mark they had to be involved in this sin. If they see brothers teaching on the street, find them. Go into their bank account, take money out. Boop, boop, boop. That's what that's what they do. Now you have no food. This they try to bend us to make us do what they want. That's what the So using central bank digital currency is a sin within itself? Just like some people say the MOTB is money. So the, using money is a sin? So we're all doomed. I mean, when the money goes digital, there there will be a you know a period where you'll just be able to use the digital money. But as they strengthen and tighten this grip that they have on the earth, and you know implement this NWO, then everything you do will be on a a, a one particular device. In China, it's on your phone, but they're going further, and ain't stopping there. Is what we're trying to tell you. And where would that that uh, central bank digital currency be on? Okay, let's say it's on a, a card or on an app on your phone. You think they're going to stop there? And they're not fining you for pre. No, nobody has went out and preached the word and went into their bank account and received a fine. All right. Now, once this digital ID. All right. That was conveniently implemented around 2020 or, you know, around the world gets tighter. All right. Then your particular behavior and your actions will be used. All right. Your carbon consumption and all of these things will be used to find you. This is what we've been telling you. And eventually it's all going to be on a particular device. I was prophesying about, go ahead. And that no man might buy or sell, said he that Except had the mark, he, go ahead. That had the mark. That had the mark, which is sin, whether politically or religiously. Or the name. 
He just said the I don't I don't understand. See, it's all over the place. Name of the beast is still saying the same thing. Sin in America, go ahead. Or the number of his name. Read. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. Count the number of America. This white man here, go ahead. For it is the number of a man. It's telling you the number of the white man. That's what I mean. The beast and America are two separate things. America is a part of the beast system. America, all right, rides the beast. All right, just like you had Rome, but then Rome had vassals. Okay? Rome, all right, you, you, you can be outside of Rome, all right, but the policies of Rome, the mindset of Rome still applied. Okay? In these various different, all right, EU and NATO countries work for the benefit of Babylon. But it's all changing. Okay? His number of a man, okay? And his number is 600, three score, and six. So that number represents him, number of destruction. Everybody just... That does not represent destruction. Okay? We always break down the meaning of the, the chai sai stigma, which we're not going to go too deep into it, but chai sai stigma does not mean destruction. Chai is the first three letters in. Uh, Christ anointed. They're gonna X out the anointed. All right, Zai. All right, which you see that uh, the lowercase version of uh, Zai, or the uppercase version of Zai, used in Tesla as that E. Okay, we 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 always bring this out. Okay, you see this uppercase. All right. You look up Tesla, you'll see it. See that? That E, Biden Harris. It's in various different things. When you look up their uh, campaign, let's see here. See that E? That's the Greek Zai. Okay? And it's red. The Lord is showing you something. Okay? And when you go into that, all right, it, it goes into a lot of different philosophies. Okay? It's used in various different contexts. All right? We have lessons going into all of this. Okay? So you have Chai, Zai, Stigma. What is stigma? Okay. Stigma. All right. As we always go into, we'll just bring it up here, is a mark pricked or branded upon the body to ancient and oriental usage. So this is an ancient custom, all right, that has been what? Modernized via technology. Slaves and soldiers bore the name or stamp of their master or commander, branded and pricked cut into their bodies that's him, him or how are they going to put their name on you they put their name on you their stamp on you you belong to them okay via a device all right back then it was via a brand or a tattoo all right cut into uh, their bodies to dictate what master or general they belong to oh and there were some devotees who stamped themselves this way with the token to their gods so chai sai stigma 666 has nothing to do with just destruction okay and see this is only going to work on the simple second timothy 3 and 13 but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived all right because when you lie you got to keep lying and when you're proud you're not going to be worried about how crazy you look because the masses of the people who follow you are ood and odd based on your, 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 who you are alone. But it's only so long you're going to be able to deceive the elect. That's who these videos are for, for the elect. And see, you, you Israelites got to take yourself out of the equation. It ain't about you, it ain't about me. It's about the will of the Lord. He wants this addressed. We were talking in the chat. And yeah, you may get tired of seeing, oh, here yeah, another IUI. Oh. But hey, there's souls of the elect on the line, man. 2 Timothy 3 and 14, but thou continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them. 
You see? And this is big. Now let's get a few things here. So that there simply is not enough money for everyone to pay back the debt. So what the banks do? Ooh, we'll have that. And this has been going on for centuries. And, and they've, they've hijacked the real wealth of the world um, by doing this. And the next stage, which is in my books from the early 1990s, is the cashless society. You know, I was pointing out, purely by knowledge of what, what this agenda was, that they were going to get rid of cash. And look, look at it. Cash is flying out of circulation. Some places like Sweden is almost totally cashless. They're shutting down bank branches, so you cannot interact with a bank branch locally with cash. You have to do it online, I'm because that's electronic this. money. And eventually they... I'm witnessing this all. But let's listen to what he's saying. And eventually they're going to what? Going to take cash out of circulation. Why? Because um, when you go into a store now or anywhere, and you give them a credit card, electronic money, um, and that they say, sorry, uh, the system won't accept your card, well, you can still pay cash. But when there's no cash in circulation, um, your electronic money, which is meant to go through a microchip eventually, um, what, what? when they say the system won't accept your, your microchip or your card, you have no other means of purchase. So whoever controls the, 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 the system is dictating whether you can purchase or whether you listen, can't. Listen, listen again. With, um, your electronic money, which is meant to go through a microchip eventually, um, when they say the system won't accept your your microchip or your card, you have no other means of purchase. Right. So right now, they have forms of um, chips on cards, right? Revelation the thirteenth chapter is basically telling you they're going to eventually force you, okay, to put it in your hand or in your forehead. And we already see in the forehead aspect, most people will just do the hand. All right. But the forehead aspect is being tied to miracles, making the blind see the lame walk. It's being presented as a savior. And we do those videos all the time. So we ain't got to go into that. But you heard what this is, what was just said here. So whoever controls the, 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 the system is dictating whether you can purchase or whether you can't, whether you can eat or whether you can't. And the only other alternative to that. This is why it's going to be what? Called the hour of temptation. It's going to tempt you. That would be barter. And I'll tell you what the plan is. The plan is to ban barter, to make it illegal on the basis that they, won't be, they, they can't tax it. Right. So, yeah, there, there'll be a black market for some time, you know, transfer. You know, there'll be a point where you'll be able to, you know, sneak and use the CBDC and all of that. But as they clamp down tighter and with more calamities and civil unrest they'll be able to implement all kind of laws okay check this out we're joined now by the treasury secretary janet yellen madam secretary thanks for joining us this morning uh, let's start out with the timeline thanks. now of this of this possible de uh, default yeah uh, you said earlier this week you expect that it could come as early as june 1st i know you get new information every day is that still your best estimate uh yes early june is when we project that we will run out of cash and there is a chance it could be as early as June 1st. Of course, there is a lot of uncertainty and I plan to update Congress as new information uh, becomes available, but that's still our current thinking. Are there extraordinary measures you can take around that time or is that it? Well, really, that's it. We've been using extraordinary measures for several months now, and um, our ability to do that is running out, and we will start to run down. In June is, what, six? All right, but we'll see, because, you know, this has been said before. All right, but now they only, again, they're going to move with, all right, and come down with great wrath because they only have but a short time. Down our cash and um, our current projection is that in early June a day will come when we're unable to pay our bills unless Congress raises the debt ceiling and it's something I strongly urge Congress um, to do of course it's appropriate to have negotiations about the budget about spending priorities President Biden has presented a detailed budget that does cut deficits by three trillion dollars over ten years while investing uh, in the strength of the this is a systematic collapse. You can look that up as well. But they're talking about in June, ain't going to be no more cash, which can't they just print more? Forehead technology in China. Teachers at this primary school in China know exactly when someone isn't paying attention. 
白色，就是你可能跟网络还没有连接好。These headbands measure each student's level of concentration. The information is then directly sent to the teacher's computer and to parents. China has big plans to become a global leader in artificial intelligence. It has enabled a cashless economy where people make purchases with their faces. A giant network of surveillance cameras with facial recognition helps police monitor citizens. Meanwhile, some schools offer glimpses of what the future of high-tech education in the country might look. This is what the future looks like, and we know China is is way ahead in a lot of these, uh, you know, systems. To one, every one person in China, there's about 40 to 50 cameras. Uh, they're being watched, tracked, everything. You can't speak against the government. And that's the world they want here. Classrooms have robots that analyze students' health and engagement levels. Students wear uniforms with chips that track their locations. There are even surveillance cameras that monitor how often students check their phones or yawn during classes. These gadgets have alarmed Chinese netizens. Mm. But schools say it wasn't hard for them getting parental consent to enroll kids into what is one of the world's largest experiments in AI education, a program that's supposed to boost students' grades while also feeding powerful algorithms. The government has poured billions of dollars into the project, bringing together tech giants, startups, and schools. We got exclusive access to a primary school a few hours outside of Shanghai. To see firsthand how AI tech is being used in the classroom. For this fifth grade class, the day begins with putting on a brain wave sensing gadget. Students then practice meditating. The device is made in China and has three electrodes, two behind the ears and one on the forehead. These sensors pick up electrical signals sent by neurons in the brain. The neural data is then sent in real time to the teacher's computer. So while students are solving math problems, a teacher can quickly find out who's paying attention and who's not. A report is then generated that shows how well the class was paying attention. It even details each student's concentration level at 10 minute intervals. It's then sent to a chat group for parents. The reports are detailed, but whether these devices really work and what they exactly measure isn't as clear. We were curious if the headbands could actually measure concentration, so one of our reporters tried on the device. Hey, you can look that up. Uh, again, the uh, this brother, he be posting all kind of stuff, you know, because we're watchmen, you know. And what one brother may not see, another will. So check this brother's page out, subscribe, be edified. And this breakdown that, you know, the, the IUIC is now coming with makes no sense. You actually bodied yourselves. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, you, you have to wonder why they're in so big of a, you know, uh, they're in a conundrum. <laughs> Look that up. All right. Why, why are they so gung-ho to say and detach the actual technology we see them coming with okay we do videos on it all the time from what they're gonna do all right what john the revelator saw why why are they so gung-ho to separate why why aren't they at least just saying well don't take the haragma we do see them coming because you know in one of nate's more recent breakdowns he said they might come with a chip so what's going on with nate now in another video where a brother went to their actual video nate's all frustrated telling him hurry up you know he, he you can see that something's on his mind something's going on but you know that's that's it man I, i'll leave it there Stand that. all right from there revelation 17 18 we're almost done all right, and again, let's get Ezekiel 33 and close it out. If you've made it to this point in the video, you know. Ezekiel 33 and 33. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, meaning all these prophecies, then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. All right. And when you all see this thing come to pass. Okay, run to these leaders, run to these leaders, see how that stuff works out for you, Shalom.